Turning now to the Biden presidency, John Dickerson, who's in for Margaret Brennan on Face the Nation this weekend, joins us now. And John, with more meetings today between President Biden and Republican senators, are there any new indications a deal is going to come from all the back and forth that they're dealing with right now? There aren't really many indications. In fact, it looks like they're still far apart because the president has trimmed a trillion dollars off of his original asking price. He's also changed his position on taxes. He was going to ask that the package be paid for originally by increasing corporate taxes. Now he's just saying set a floor so corporations don't pay less than 15 percent. That has not won him over uh, any Republican votes. And remember, he needs 60, which means 10 Republican votes because it's almost certain that the, this uh, infrastructure package will be filibustered. So he's put a deadline on the 7th of June to get things done, and it doesn't look like they're very close. 7th of June, right around the corner. John, Mike Pence Thursday saying that he and former President Trump did not see eye to eye on the insurrection from January 6th, but that he was proud of the work they did together. What do you make of those comments? Well, the expression didn't see eye to eye sounds like you know, we're talking about whether Miami has a good football team or not. It seems like a pretty low level debate. But remember what we're talking about here on the 6th of January, there was a riot at the Capitol. And during that riot, some of the rioters chanted, hang Mike Pence. The vice president was in the building and they sought to hang him. Why? Because his former boss, the president, President Trump, to whom he had been loyal throughout their four years, more loyal really than anybody else in the Trump White House, had said that Mike Pence Pence lacked the courage to stop the certification of the Electoral College vote. Mike Pence had no role or ability to stop the vote, and the president knew that, but he put a target on his back. The rioters uh, sought, sought him out, and so that's a kind of dramatic thing that has never happened before in American history, that a president has done that to their vice president. So to frame it as something about which the two just don't see eye to eye is a little bit of an understatement. New jobs numbers out today, John. What are these vitals telling us about the economic health of our country? Well, the new jobs numbers were okay. They weren't as great as many economists had predicted, or and certainly that as great as the Biden White House wanted. Uh, about five five hundred thousand and a half uh, new jobs, which would be great during non-pandemic times. But uh, as the economy recovers from the pandemic, the question is, what does it look like when an economy is coming back from a once-in-a-generation event, and is it possible to even measure and know how an economy responds? And the reason that's important is not just a interesting guessing game, but it's what politicians need to be able to make good policy to make the economy get going again, because, of course, that means people have jobs and money and and uh, can get back to living a healthy and, and profitable life that they, they might have had before. So it means the recovery is slow, and it means we don't really know what the shape of the recovery is going to look like as America comes back in the wake of the pandemic. John Dickerson, a wide variety of topics we discussed today. I'm sure a sign of what's to come this Sunday on Face the Nation. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat with us this evening.